Hey guys, thanks for joining me. I want to talk with you today about what's called exclusive representation. And exclusive representation is something that doesn't always happen in commercial real estate, but it does with our shop. It's just kind of the way we operate. Appreciate you being here. My name is Mark Halsey. I'm the managing broker of Results Commercial Group in Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota. We're a commercial investment boutique. And the boutique part is important, and I'll tell you why it's important, you guys, because we are intentionally small. Maybe concise is a better word. We're a small group of very um, experienced, specialized commercial investment brokers. So why does that matter with exclusive representation? I'll tell you why. Listen, we all know there's only so much time in the day. We only have so many resources. When we work with our clients, we are putting forth a tremendous amount of resources to make sure that we are meeting our client's objective. Now, we're very much a listing broker, but we do represent buyers and we represent tenants. It's a relationship, right? When somebody is hiring us, it's no different than if somebody is hiring an attorney or you're hiring a physician, you're hiring somebody that is very, very good at what they do, and you expect to have dedicated service. You expect to have people that are really focused on meeting the objective, and I'll tell you guys, that's what we are. We, we take our business quite seriously, and so what we expect in return is a client to, to have a, a, a strong reciprocal relationship with us, to be dedicated to us the way we're dedicated to them. That's what exclusivity is all about. So as listing brokers, it's pretty common in the United States to sign an exclusive right to represent a seller. And the seller says, you know what? I want your brokerage firm to represent my property as you sell this property for me, as you take this to market. And so it's very, very common that a exclusive arrangement is made between the seller and the brokerage. Many times with commercial investment buyers, not always is that the case. Sometimes buyers say, well, I want to work with multiple brokers, and there's nothing wrong with that. It so happens that with our firm, we do work on an exclusive basis. And again, the reason why is because we put forth a lot of dedicated resources. If we have to represent a buyer or a tenant and we need to spend hours and hours searching for properties through the databases, going through doing multiple tours, going through multiple LOIs, letters of intent, or on a buyer, it's purchase agreements, working through multiple PAs to get to the end game. We wanna make sure that we have a good, strong, exclusive relationship. So I'll tell you what, sometimes people don't quite understand that idea of working in that manner, but it's pretty rare that you're going to find anybody in any very high-end, high-level professional services that, that wants to work in more of that open relationship. We, we're all about meeting the client's objective, and that means that we need to be hyper-focused on, on their work every single day. So at our client meetings, on every Tuesday and Thursday morning, as we're going through our client list, we're making sure what is it that we can do to get the property sold? What is it that we can do to find that buyer, that investor, the right property to purchase? We don't just sign up clients to have clients. That's not the way we work. We're fortunate to be in a position, we're fortunate to be in a position where we can be very discerning about who we work with. And that means that if we say we want to work with you exclusively and we expect you to work with us exclusively, um, that's how we really, that, that's how we're successful. That's how both parties are successful. So I hope this helps a little bit to kind of understand that idea of exclusivity and why it is so important in, in almost all professional fields to have that kind of a dedicated relationship with each other. Again, Mark Halsey with Results Commercial. I hope you'll follow us on, on, on our social media platforms. Go to our website. You might really dig it. There's some really good stuff at resultscommercial.com. And certainly feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I sure would appreciate it. Thanks for joining me today.